Hey there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. Today, a little bit of Q&A, honey. Really? We, yeah, we've had people asking us questions. Last time we did this was a little, I think a little over two years ago. And I think we were at uh, maybe, maybe a thousand subscribers. I don't remember. But it was a while ago. And I think we're up over 22,000 now. But well, first, we have to thank them for that. Oh, yes. No, I will. But I'm just making sure I've got my timetable correctly, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, by the way, thank you for everyone for subscribing to this channel. We do appreciate it. All 22,000 plus of you. But we've also had a lot of people ask us questions about us, um, what we do, what we're about. So we figure it's about time to do another Q&A. I will say I've got to do this because we do this every time. Before we do that, if you've not hit that subscribe button below, please do so. Also, that bell notification button below because that'll get you notified when we put out future videos. Love for you to hit the like button too because that'll help us out immensely. Before we get into the video, I want to talk about one thing because it's helped me out immensely over the last year and a half since I got it. It's my Flexi Spot standing desk. It can go down here, it can go up here. I love this thing. We'll talk more about that here in just a little bit, but I want to go through some questions, okay? Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. So, our first question comes from Allison. And first of all, thank you, Allison, because I know you've been watching our channel for a long time and you comment quite a bit. And you've asked a really great question because we do like to shop. That's part of what we do shopping, travel, Disney, and food. Um, shopping is a big part of what we do. Your question was, what is our favorite store to shop at? Do you want to answer that, honey? I could. Do you really, I mean, we've only done one video there the whole time we've done this channel. I know which store you're going for, by the way. I know exactly which one you're going for. We don't have it around here. Go ahead. Wegmans. It's a West, uh, well, it started in Buffalo, New York, so a Western New York chain is basically, yeah, you can get it in the upper, north, uh, upper Northeast. Wegmans is a phenomenal store. That's one of our favorite stores, but it's nowhere near where we're at. We actually made a side trip on one of our trips east just to go to a Wegmans, didn't we? Yes, we did. And we can link the video if you want to check it out. Right, but it had to do with their dinner rolls, which mm -hmm. I don't think they do anymore. Yeah. Because we tried to find them last time and we couldn't find it. But um, it was their dinner rolls. And then... It's actually a really, really cool store to check yes. out. Wegmans one of our favorite stores. Now, outside of Wegmans, who do we like? I mean, because we do Kroger, we do uh, Meyer. Um, we've done some of the stores like Piggly Wiggly we've done. We've done um, uh, Publix in Florida. Um, out of those, which ones do you like the best? Honestly, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter which grocery store I go to. Whoever gives me the best deal. That is a really, really good answer because it's so true. We like deals. I mean, it's all about the deals. Um, we also do Costco and we also do Sam's Club. Um, and a lot of people have asked us, which one do we like better? And the same answer, whichever one gives us the, same, the better deal because... They have a lot of the same things, but there's a lot of different things, too. So whoever gives us the best deal, that's where we go. We like shopping deals, right? Yes. What's the next question? So our next question is from Darcel. I think it's pronounced Darcel. That's the way it's spelled anyway. Have we ever been on a Disney cruise? If yes, what did we like about it? And would we ever go again? Uh, a, yes, we have been on a Disney cruise. C, yes, we would go again in a heartbeat. B, what do we like best about it? The rotating dining room. They have this thing in the Disney cruise ships. If you're on a three-day, uh, which is what we did. We did a, a four-day, three-night cruise. On a Disney Dream on when the, it first came out. It was back in, I want to say, 2009, I think it was. Uh, they have three dining rooms on the boat. And you keep the same waiter every night for dinner. But you go to a different dining room every time. And there's a different theme in each dining room. But the waiter, uh, after the first night, the waiter knows your name. Um, he knows your likes, knows your dislikes. Um, he even knew that Andy didn't want, um, um, no, he, he even knew that Andy wanted sushi. Mm -hmm. And in the last restaurant, they didn't have sushi, but he went over to the first restaurant and got Andy sushi. So I loved the uh, rotating dining at uh, the Disney, uh, on the Disney cruise ships. The other thing I liked about it was Castaway Key. Castaway Key was very cool. Disney's own little private island. Um, a lot of stuff for the kidlets to do. One of the things you will not find on a Disney cruise ship, I think, is a casino. Yes, there's no casino, but it was so funny because we went to Castaway Key um, when we were on a Disney cruise, and they serve different foods in the adult area mm -hmm. versus the children area. Mm -hmm. That was years and years ago uh, when it first came out. I don't know if it's the same, but I just remember we had steak in the adult area, yep. and the kids did not. They had hot dogs and hamburgers. 
To be honest with you, I almost would have rather have eaten the kids oh, area. <laughs> but yeah, we would go on a Disney cruise again in a heartbeat. Unfortunately, uh, the Disney cruise ships, for us anyway, um, I think may have been a one-time deal unless we get another deal on it because they are so darned expensive. We've done other cruise ships. We've done Carnival. We've done Norwegian. We've done Royal Caribbean. Nope, Celebrity. Celebrity. Mm -hmm. We've done Celebrity. Uh, we've done an Alaska cruise. We've done a couple to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. um, and we like to cruise. Uh, obviously, we haven't cruised since the whole pandemic started. But yes, we would cruise. Yes, we would go on a Disney cruise again in a heartbeat if we can afford it. Next question comes from Lena. She asks, do we ever use coupons when we shop? Yes, you do have coupons. Unfortunately, you forget about them a lot that you have them until I they're outdated. do not. Yes, you do. Um, I'm a big fan of digital coupons, uh, the digital coupons that go right in your phone. That's kind of why I like Kroger um, and also M-Perks, right? M-Perks has some digital coupons too, don't they? Yes, but not, you don't load them. I load them. Well, true that. True that. I, I, I have nothing to do with them. <laughs> Trust me, I have nothing. To, I don't know, even know how to do it. Um, she does it all. But uh, the digital coupons are the best. Right. The digital coupons are really good. And I do look at the coupons that come in the mail from Kroger mm -hmm. and then um, Meyer, And also some of the newspaper coupons. Yes, we still get a newspaper. But some of the newspaper coupons are iffy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are good. Sometimes they're bad. I don't. I'm not a... Um, coupon hoarder just because I don't have time to do that so I, I know there's people out there that uh, you know make it their business to get their entire grocery um, on coupons and save as much money as they can we try and save as best we can in the time frame that we have uh, and she does a really good job I again I don't do anything with coupons um, I don't even make the shopping list when we go shopping there's times I, I'll ask her I says do we need this do we need that she'll say yes she'll say no um, th that's shopping is all on her. So I, I give her credit for that, for going through the, uh, the going through the, uh, ads every week. I'll check them out. I'll look at them and see if anything I think is really interesting as a quick peek, but, um, Peg pretty much does it all. And yes, we do use coupons, but realistically the digital coupons are the ones we use the most. So our next question comes from Diane. Her question is where does Peg work and how is she able to take so much time off for vacations? Uh, realistically, you don't. Um, I mean, we, you've been at your job a number of years, so you get right. so many weeks mm -hmm. vacation. I'm kind of semi-retired, but I can set my own schedule as long as my work gets done, which is why I love the desk that I got, the FlexiSpot decks. That desk makes my life so much easier. I want to talk more about that for a little bit. Can we throw the video in? Yes, we can. Ashley, um, we want to mention that this video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. I do want to say that because they did give me this really, really cool desk. Uh, that you need to check out. So we're going to pop that in here and then I'll finish answering your question. So the desk is all set up now. It didn't take me more than, what, 15 minutes to put it together and get it all set up. Um, I've got it set up the way I want it with my laptop on one side, my monitor on the other. I've got my microphone and headphones. Everything's plugged in and it works phenomenal. This is exactly how I want it set up. Right now I have the desk set for my height with my chair, but it actually goes lower than that. I can take it down and it says it's at the bottom now, but I have it preset for me sitting down right now. And preset one is my sitting down position, but it actually goes a lot higher than that. I'm gonna hit the preset two because I took that about halfway up and it just automatically goes up. And that's not as high as it goes, but that's right for me in a standing position. If I wanna stand and work, this is the right height for me, but I can go even higher if I want. I think it goes all the way to 50. So if you're really tall, there's the top. If you're really tall, it goes this high. And it's all electric and it moves up and down. And actually, I'm just going to hit the preset and take it down. And again, it'll take it down to my standing position where I want to work on my desk standing. But I also have it set for when I want to be able to sit down and work on my desk. So one of the cool things I do like about this desk is it helps me with my posture. If I'm standing up, I'm standing up. If I'm sitting down, I'm sitting down correctly. So I love this desk for that. It's actually going to help my back in the long run. So I'm liking that as, as well as everything else about this desk. Things about this desk too is it's got USB chargers on the side. So if you want to charge your phone or something else, you can do that uh, right here on the side. So 
Uh, I like having those handy. So I've had this desk now for, I want to say, a year and a half. A year. A year, a little over a year. A year. And it's helped me out immensely, which is why I really like it, because I can either pop it all the way up so I can stand, which I do quite a bit, or I can bring it down when I want to sit. You can customize it any way you want, color, shape, how, how big you want the desk. And, and again, for me, it just helps me out because it helps my posture. And I've got a bad back, and a lot of times I've got to stand up to be able to do my work. And this desk really, really helps me out, and I, and I love it immensely. So if you want to take advantage of a deal on a FlexiSpot desk for yourself, Amazon Prime Days are coming up on the 12th and the 13th of July, and FlexiSpot has a deal, limited time offer just for Prime Days, up to 30% off on your FlexiSpot desk. Check it out for yourself. The link is on our description page below. Make sure you check it out and uh, get yourself a FlexiSpot desk. Now to get back to the question from uh, Diane, um, you have uh, a lot of uh, vacation time that you have through your work because you've been there for a long time. I've been at my work for quite a few years mm -hmm. and I've accrued vacation time based off time worked. One of the things that we do is we use long weekends Take a Friday off, go Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Take a Monday off, do Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Again, my job, I can set pretty much my own schedule. I can work from home, which I do a lot. I can work from wherever we're going to go. She can do some work remotely as well. But again, it's a case of being able to do it because we actually have the time because we've been at our jobs for so long. So my next question comes from Lisa. She wanted to know where I buy my socks from. And the reason she asked that, because I put in a video um, that I can't buy socks at Costco or Sam's because my feet are too big. I wear size 15s. Where do I buy my socks? Target. They're the ones that have it. They've got the uh, extra, uh, the, the longer, bigger sizes of socks. So if you've got big feet like I've got, big socks, mm -hmm, get them at Target. That's where I go. Our next question comes from Yvonne, and I almost kind of don't understand the question, but maybe I'm getting this right. If we had to do a trolley dash, which store would we choose and why? Uh, and if I'm reading this correctly, a trolley dash is if we had to go someplace quick to get something, where would we go? Uh, that's a quick answer for us. Kroger is three minutes down the road from us. So, so our next question comes from Catherine. She wants to know, how much money do we think we've saved over the years. Now, keep in mind, we've raised four boys, um, but luckily we've been in the same place for almost, oh, actually over 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, how much have we saved? By shopping offers. That's a really good question. I've never tried to figure that out. What do you think? I think that we probably saved enough to put into our retirement because what we have done, which we are hopefully will be retiring in the near future, is every time we receive a raise, mm -hmm. and when they were giving out raises, yeah, but sometimes, some years they weren't, um, we would bump up our 401k to m put money in. Yeah. So what we actually did on saving, we have a budget. Right. So we know we have a budget, and then we basically try to meet the budget based off the sales. Right. Now, one of the things I will say that we've said in our videos uh, several times, that we save when we shop so that we can go on vacation. And we've done that a lot. A lot of what we do, with, we try and save money, um, goes into our retirement, but also helps us pay for some of the vacations that we've taken, some of the traveling that we do. Uh, if we didn't save as much money as we did in shopping, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that we do as far as vacations are concerned either. Right. So we have gone to, before we started our channel, we have gone other places other than Disney. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've gone to Washington, D.C., we've gone to Boston, we've gone to Alaska, we've gone to Hawaii, mm -hmm. we've gone to California. So we've gone to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, one of the things that we've always believed in as we've been growing up with our kids is I want my kids to have life experiences and know what it's like to see around different things and not just know your neighborhood. So we've taken them on trips. Um, and again, the reason that we've been able to do that is because we've saved a lot of money uh, by deals um, and looking for the best deal and scrimping and saving. Um, and that's why we tried to pass some of this along in these videos to try and help you do the same thing for yours. 
Uh, again, retirement is a big deal part of it. We do want to retire and we're trying to save money that way as well. And we've done really good with that, but it's also being able to do, to fund some of the trips that we've been on. So the question from Vicki, kind of a touchy one for me. How do you handle rude comments from the viewers of our channel? Peg told me early on, you don't want to read this one. You don't want to read this one. You don't want to read this one. Um, so I don't look at the raw, I don't look at the raw comments. You do. You look at every single one. Um, cause you have to approve them before they actually hit the page, right? Right. Um, the, there are some, I do approve comments. I do look at them mm -hmm. and I do let majority of them go through. Right. And there are some really rude ones. Yes, there are. I've been picked on multiple times. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, you have, unfortunately, and I keep telling you, thick skin, thick skin, sick, thick skin. But you always said, um, don't let that one person mm -hmm. affect you. My, my, my golden rule is we have 22,000 plus subscribers to this channel. And again, thank you very much for doing that. But I don't let the one, the one dictate what I'm going to do for the 22,000 that like what we're doing. Um, People can be rude. People, um, people can be hurtful. And uh, I learned growing up that you just have to have a thick skin and you just got to let it roll off. So but I also have learned that we have great supporters. And if I let the, the comments go through, which I do quite a bit, um, we have you guys to respond to them because you know us. Yeah. yeah. And we do appreciate you because you got our backs and we do appreciate that. So how do we handle rude comments? Well, if they're really bad, they don't make the page. Um, she does read them though. And sometimes she says, she'll come into the bedroom and just like be so angry. I'm like, don't let the one, don't let the one dictate what we're doing for the 22,000 of you that actually like what we do. So, so uh, the ones I do really filter out, so you know, are a lot of the political comments. I, and that's why everybody say, we love, you guys love our channel because we keep politics out of it. We do. Because mm -hmm. our channel isn't about politics. Our channel is about ways to save money. Disney, shopping, food, and travel. That's what the channel's about. It's not about politics. There's enough channels out there already for that. So if it's about politics, it'll never make the page. Um, however, you know, she does let a lot of those go through because you guys got her backs. One of the things that Janine asked just uh a couple of weeks ago is do we ever buy the Kroger hot dog buns? Uh, we actually do. We buy the Kroger hot dog and we buy the Kroger hamburger buns. Uh, we've had some issues with them every now and then, but for the most part, they, they're quality buns and they're the best price that they've got. So, But we've also had some issues with even in national brands mm -hmm. like um, Thomas's English muffins. Yeah. Sometimes they don't split correctly. Right. Um, and we've had some issues with other buns too. Yeah. So, so you're going to have issues with anybody, you know, with, with any, any product. Um, but if the majority of your, uh, your experience with the product, like we've had with Kroger buns, both hot dog and hamburger is positive. You just keep using them and just, you know, let the one or two that is, uh, is, is not positive roll off your back. And, uh, if it's that bad, just go back to the store and say, Hey, these buns were, you know, bad and they'll give you your money back or give you another package of hot dog buns. Yeah, and you can always call the 800 number or the customer service number of the manufacturer and they're really good about helping you out if something is bad. I remember, and this is a true story, um, it was Kellogg cereal mm -hmm. and they didn't switch, when they were switching the line, I ended up, what was it? What a, a different cereal and another cereal. Yeah, you got you got a bag of one kind of cereal in a box that was supposed to be another right. kind of cereal. And I called the 800 number, and it says, oh, when they switched the line, they just forgot to change the boxes out. And they, they sent her coupons for cereal, for free cereal. Uh, and I've done that with Edie's ice cream before. Edie's ice cream, uh, they've had problems with, um, and they've sent me coupons mm -hmm. for... Um, for a new product. So they'll take care of you. The manu manufacturers would rather take care of you than have you be ticked off and not become a buyer of their product. So let's take one more question, honey, because I've had a lot of people ask me about this one. Lisa asks, have we ever tried Coke Zero? We drink Diet Coke. I drink Diet Coke. You're now drinking the Diet Sprite, right? Right. But uh, I drink Diet Coke. 
I used to be a Cokeaholic, and I've admitted this before. Um, I used to drink anywhere from a six pack to a 12 pack of Coke a day. Uh, I switched to Diet Coke, I want to say what, in the mid 90s, I think it was, honey. Um, and I lost probably 40 pounds just by switching to Diet Coke. And the taste of real Coke right now, I don't like. And Coke Zero tastes so much like real Coke that I just don't like the taste. Uh, yeah, I could probably drink Coke Zero if I wanted to and get used to it, but I, I, I like Diet Coke. I was just, have you ever had Coke Zero? Yes, I have. I've tried Coke Zero. I've tried Coke Zero. I've tried uh, the, uh, the Pepsi version of that. My go-to is Diet Coke. And yes, there is a difference between Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi. Trust me on that. Diet Coke is better. Can I start that argument? No. Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi? No. I can't start that? No, you okay. can't. I won't start that then. But yes, I have tried Coke Zero. I'm not... I'm not against it. I, I'm just not a fan. I'd rather have my Diet Coke. Thanks for watching this video. We do appreciate it. We appreciate when you watch all of our videos. And I do need to thank FlexiSpot, the uh, standing desks, for, uh, for actually uh, sponsoring this Q&A and for uh, letting me have that desk a year ago that's been so beneficial to me over the last year being able to work from home. But thank you for checking this Q&A out. And if you have any more questions, just feel free to post them. We'll answer them as best we can. If you've not hit that subscribe button below, love for you to do so right now. Also, the bell notification button below, because that'll get you notified when we put up future videos. I would love for you to hit the like button, too, because that does help us out immensely. Hopefully, we answered some of your questions, and have yourself a magical day.